Hello. I just finished this little project and I thought I'd share it. This I was looking through Lit Motor's uh, latest videos and I found what he called the French inverter. And I thought, well, I'm going to build that, that's for sure. And anyway, uh, he said that to find the uh, diagram of the circuit, I needed to. Uh, let me put this on flower. I needed to go uh, to VIK95170 channel. He's very good drawing of the circuit, and at the end of the at the very end of the video, you'll find the circuit. The video is called. If you can make that out. It's in French. The whole video is in French, but I didn't have any problem at all understanding the circuit. He didn't mention the uh, transistors he used, but the uh, lit motor used uh, these transistors I have listed here. The 2N2222 and the MOSFET IRF510. I used them and they worked very well. So if you want to find this circuit, just go to this guy's channel and it's there and if you wait until the very end of the video you can freeze it and it's a very clear uh, plain circuit to follow no problem at all uh, on lit motors uh, the one he put together he used a rheostat to control the amount of light and uh, I, it's right here the one, the one he used I'm using it on another project. Uh, and anyway, uh, it did get hot, the rheostat, just like he said. And the transformer he was using got a little warm too. So what I did is I had an old uh, voltage regulator I put together a couple of years ago. And I got rid of the rheostat and I installed the voltage regulator. I supply it with 12 volts uh, DC. And it puts out about, I don't know, maybe 9 volts, 0 to 9 volts. And I put it on there and uh, I fired it up and uh, there was no heat at all. The, uh, the uh, rheostat or the uh, pot, the 500k pot on there, it didn't even get warm. And the unit worked just fine. I was pretty happy with it. I have a 2 amp fuse right here. Uh, the, the circuit for that uh, voltage regulator is right here. Hopefully you can make that out. It's a 1K pot. Uh, it's a 1 UF 50 volt capacitor. 2 amp fuse. And the voltage regulator itself is a LM217T or an NTE956. And that thing really works good for this uh, application. And it's very, very simple, easy to make. Now anyway, getting back to this thing here, I'll take this off flower for a second. I have a heck of a time doing that. On the uh, transformer itself, the one that I was running on there was a little bit less than an amp. So I went up to Radio Shack and I picked the next one up. I think it's uh, uh, 1.2 amps. And with that combination now with this old uh, voltage regulator I made and the bigger transformer, there's no heat at all. And it's working just great. Just great. Uh, I'm going to go back. I wish this had an easier one. Anyway, back to flower again so you can get a good look at this circuit that I put together. There's the uh, MOS, MOSFETs and the uh, smaller ones right there. It's pretty neat. It works pretty good. And over here, I'm using uh, these Lights of America. They're 2 watt bulbs. There's two of them 110 volt. And the transformer is right here that I'm using. It works great. It's a 12 volt uh, in and uh, 
pardon me, it's a 12 volt out, 6 or 12 volt out, 110 in. Now, if you look at this mess contraption over here, this is just a th three way plug in that I double, uh, I uh, put on there with some double back tape. And right here, if you can see that, I have a set of Christmas tree lights plugged in there. They're LED, 35 LED bulbs. And in the back here, I have a radio plugged into it. And of course, the two Lights of America that are there. This is a little better picture of the voltage regulator that I'm using to run it. This is a heat sink on there. You can see that all right, I guess. Okay. The power I'm feeding this with comes from my uh, battery pack. I have a battery pack for my solar power system, and I have a regulator right there, a voltage regulator right there, and I just have it cranked up all the way, so it's feeding at 12 volts. Okay. Put this back again off the flower. There we go. I'll fire her up. Let me just turn this one light off here. You can see it lights up them two great, uh, uh, them two 110 volt LED light bulbs very well. Indeed. <laughs> and if you look up here, you can see the set of Christmas tree lights. They're all lit up. Coming down. And over here I have the radio. I'll turn it on once. That works pretty darn good. And it's plugged in right here. Okay, I'll turn the meter on here once so you can see what's happening. Hopefully you can see that. With everything, I'll turn the radio back on momentarily. It's drawn 580 milliamps, a little over half an amp. Turn the radio off, you don't see any notable difference at all. You know, so it's working pretty darn good. The lights, if I turn one of them off, which I just did, you can see. It goes down to 49, turn the other one off, 370 milliamps. That's just with the Christmas tree lights on. Turn it back up. Now with the regulator here, I can uh, control the lights right down to nothing almost. Works pretty darn good. Pretty handy thing to have around. <laughs> You can uh, use it to charge your cell phone. Uh, all kinds of little projects. Just nothing but a little inverter. You know, it really, really works uh, well. And for all the lights it's lighting right now, the, the, uh, there's, there's got to be over 80 LEDs burning right now. So it's, doing, it's doing great. Well, I just thought I'd share that with you. I thought it was a pretty neat little project. And again, my thanks to, uh, I guess it'd be uh, VIK95170 and of course to uh, Lit Motor. Uh, thanks for watching.